Hi everyone, I'm Reebs and welcome to my first Thrift With Me video, uh, or as we call it here in Sydney, op shopping or secondhand shopping. Um, but thrift to me is the most common term, so I'll be using that. Um, so I thrift myself at least once or twice a week for, to find either things to add to my own collection or to sell to someone else's on either eBay or at my Collecticon booth when it rolls around here in Sydney, Australia. Um, the stop today is a Vinnie's store. Uh, the, the formal term is called the St. Vincent de Paul Society Store, but it's Vinnie's for short. I'm pretty sure they've even changed their sign on the front to Vinnie's because that's what everyone calls it. Um, it is one of the charity stores and this is my local one. It's not that big, but I find cool stuff here all the time. Um, I found once a Gene Simmons signed uh, photo in the frame section and I only paid $4 for it because they were just charging me for the frame basically, not realising the picture that was inside. Um, I have found pop vinyls, I found um, a Shelley made Disney bear that I recently bought, I think it was last week, I paid $6 for it and sold it for $45 plus shipping. Um, so yeah, there's some heaps, very good stuff here for a store that's not so big. So this is stop number one. Um, I don't know how many stops I'll do today because I'm actually filming this on a Sunday um, where the other stores that I go to, which is the nickname is Salvos, but it's the Salvation Army stores also a charity shop but they don't seem to be open on Sundays um, so I don't know how many stops I'll be doing today but th uh, this is at least stop one hopefully um, so yeah let's see what collectibles we can recover let's go so as soon as I walked in a bunch of other stickers only eight dollars whole bunch in there there are maybe, but I'll put them in my basket. Anyway, I always make sure I look at the board games. I have found packs of cards here. Uh, sealed. I don't think there's anything here that interests me. And the toys. Found this pop vinyl from Black Mirror. They're asking $10 for it, but the box is pretty beat up. So I think I'll pass on that one. Oh. Pretty cool though. There are also <laughs> these Avengers <laughs> toys, but they're also pretty big up. Three dollars. I don't think I'll grab these either. Pretty cool though. It's actually pretty busy in here today, so I'm gonna try and film where people are not. Um, it's in this section here that I found the signed Jeans Simmons picture so I make sure I always look here just in case something pops up does not look like I'm in luck today cat in the hat bookends not my thing it's also greens Nothing that catches my eye. There's mixed kitchenware and knickknacks here. But there's usually phone accessories and things, so I do like to get through that. Oh, okay. Control freak button toppers, five dollars. They're worth at least twenty, twenty-five. Yeah, I'll grab those. I think there's a few. Four. Five. I might grab only two of the white. And one of the black. And then like headset stand, five dollars. USB C cable. Fifteen. No, not for me. So, this is the clear glass. And there's a lot of Coca Cola glasses from different years. And, oh, yep. For all six pieces, 45. There's more than six. Is that right? Yeah, 6p. They're Coca Cola as well. 
Jolly Sage. It's not bad. Dolphins. They're cute. Set of four. So I found these. Uh, Planet Hollywood shot glasses. All four pieces for $10. Not really my wheelhouse, but I checked on eBay and these four sell for 40 So I'm going to grab all of them. I always check the picture frames up the top. It looks like signed One Direction, $15. Not my wheelhouse, but very cool. I always make sure I look in their kids books. A lot of them they, they charge two or three dollars. So there is a Harry Potter book here. But it's number four I believe and it's five dollars, pretty big now. So I'll pass on that. But I did find two of these. Two dollars from 2007 I believe. One's in better condition than the other but um, according to eBay, they sell for around ten dollars, eight to ten. So I'll grab both of those. Found this bag, Mickey Mouse bag. No tags, and they only want four dollars for it, but I don't know if it's real. So I'm pass on that. I'm deciding to not get these ones, these stickers, but I have also found more. These look like Disney Stitch. Lilo and Stitch stickers. No Pokemon unfortunately, but they look like they're all Disney. They're all stitch. Very cute, but I will pass on those and I'll put these back where they are. Alright, so my total spend there was $29. Um, the thing I'm most excited about are the Control Freak thumbsticks. Um, paid five dollars each for them. They're worth at least 20 to 25. So if I put 15 on them at my Collecticon booth, they should sell well. Um, I got all four of the shot glasses the planet hollywood shot glasses they're not my thing normally but there are a set of them um, and like i said they sell for 30 to 40 on ebay so i will try ebay first um, if they don't sell i will bring them with me to my collecticon booth um, there was a flintstones plate that i wanted to show you all but it was too noisy it was right at the registers um, it was one of those ceramic collectible plates they were asking for 30 dollars for it um, they only sell for 40 upwards so once you take out ebay fees you're not going to there's no money to be made there and i'm not a flintstones collector myself so i let that one go um, this video was a bit short so there will be another stop not sure what it is yet but i will see you there all right everyone i am now at the vinnies in north Parramatta. i don't know if i mentioned it before but the last one i was at was at uh, blacktown mega center formerly known as st martin's village i'm now at the mega vinnies in north Parramatta. i've wanted to come here for a while i believe i came here when i was a kid but not for a very long time um, north Parramatta, but Parramatta in general is basically a mini city so to come here on a weekday is terrible for traffic so I had to make sure I came on a weekend and like I said today is Sunday so traffic isn't that bad. I actually got a parking spot in the Vinnies itself as you can see behind me. Um, I'm hoping that it's not a mega Vinnies in that there's a lot of furniture. I'm hoping there's collectibles as well um, but like I said I haven't been here for a long time so let's dive on in and see if we can rescue any collectibles. radio in here is really loud so hopefully you can hear me just fine I'm always gonna check the books um, I have found Lord of the Rings books before even though books don't really sell for me well at my booth I will always get them if they want less than they're worth 
not seeing anything that is standing out to me just yet but I will stay hopeful they're alphabetized by author which is cool oh I know this one Harry Potter and the Cursed Child four dollars does not have its dust cover but it was in good nick yeah I'll grab that one and I just saw this Winnie the Pooh classic storybook collection in its box. I'm only asking for ten dollars for it, but it is so heavy. I wouldn't want to ship it. So I will pass on that one. Not many in the way of kids' books. Um, nothing with pop culture references that I can tell. In the past I have found some really affordable Star Wars books. However, I just went down memory lane with this. Horrible science book. Very popular when I was a kid. There was horrible histories, horrible science. There was quite a few. So, oh. I don't want to look at this one. That says Disney. Elsa, $2. I wouldn't be able to sell it for much more than that, so I'll pass. Nope. No luck today in the book section. Going through the kids' toys and I found this Harry Potter mug. I want five dollars for it. I don't think I could sell it for much more than that and I'm not really a Harry Potter fan myself so I will pass on that one. I always dig through plushies though because like I said before I found very cool Disney. That one's from New Zealand. Very cool Disney toys before, but I don't think we're in luck today. Now going through the hard goods. Very rarely find collectibles here, but I usually pick up plates like this for under my plant pots. So really cool. I usually pick up the plain clear glass ones. That one's pretty with birds. That one's definitely crystal by the sound of that. Um, $20 for that one. Yeah, I don't need them. If I find one that's a good price, I might pick it up. Some more clear glass, the whites, blacks over here, red. I sometimes find random collectibles, but today does not seem like it is the day. Just on the other side of the black section. This is not a collectible, but I thought it was very cool. So, four glasses and cups. Um, fine porcelain, 12 carat gold, sorry, 12 carat, was it 24? 24 carat gold. They want $30 for all four of them. Oh, that's pretty cool. Definitely not for me, but for whoever likes that stuff, that'll be very exciting. Phineas has an art gallery, so I definitely have to check it out. Wow, I wonder what it's made of. It looks like glass. Nothing that stands out to me, but very fancy. I wonder where that is. No, nothing that catches my eye, but some very, very cool stuff here. Now this is the bric-a-brac random homewares. I will always dig through here. I find that some people may hide things um, in here. Oh, I see something that says Minnie Mouse. Three dollars. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's just a notebook. No, I'll pass on that one. Hmm. Any else? Bath bombs. Hmm, not for me. We're in the blue section now, and I've come across this. Warner Brothers Movie World Australia Superman mug. Normally I'd go for that kind of thing, but this is just a souvenir, so I will pass on that. Kind of more random homewares. Unfortunately, nothing 
for us. That is really cute. I think it's like a for jewelry. You can like hang necklaces up here. Very cool. $25 on that one. And $25 on this one as well. Yeah, it's a shame, not not what I was looking for, but very cool either way. Alright, so I ended up changing my mind on that Harry Potter book. And because I did, my total spend here was zero dollars. Uh, just goes to show, don't underestimate your small charity stores in your area. Duck on in in case you find something that otherwise you would have missed. Um, there was plenty here that would have appealed to other people, but nothing really in the pop culture realm that I was looking for. Um, I'll still try and come here once a month or so, just in case there is a certain something here that I won't want to miss. Um, but I hope to remember to bring you guys along with me with my regular thrifting visits uh, which is usually once or twice a week. I'll bring you along to the salvos as well, which we missed out on today being Sunday. Um, but either way, thank you so much for joining me in this one, everyone. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye now. <laughs>